السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی نیم از سارا اینڈ آئی ورک ایز اے سینئر سیلس کنسلٹنٹ ان لندن ان دا ویسٹ ان آڈر ٹو اسٹڈی اے ڈگری کورس یو کین ٹیک اسٹوڈنٹ لونس ایز دا ایئرلی فیز آر ایکسٹریملی ہائی فار ون ٹو پے ہینس اٹ از ایزیئر ٹو ٹیک اے اسٹوڈنٹ لون اسٹوڈنٹ لون ان دا ویسٹ ڈس کنسسٹ آف انٹرسٹ ہاؤ ایور The condition of paying back the student loan is to earn more than £25,000 a year. Otherwise, you don't have to pay it back. And after 30 years, or if a person dies, this loan will be written off. Is it still okay? Otherwise, Muslims would not be able to study or attend a university as you have to take loan in order to be educated. What should one do? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 278 and 279, يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وذروا ما بقي من الربا ان كنتم مؤمنين او يو بيليف فير الله اند جيف اب يور ديماندز اوف ربا اف يو ار بيليفرز فان لم تفعلوا اف يو دو نوت دو سو فاذنوا بحرب من الله ورسوله سو بي بريبيرد ذات الله اند هيز ميسنجر ويل ويج ا وار اجينست يو سو ربا ات از كومبليتلي بروهيبيتد ان الاسلام ديلينج ان ربا It is haram in Islam. And according to Imam al-Dhahabi, he writes in his book Al-Kabayat, the 70 major sins. He says that riba, it is the 12th major sin in Islam. So dealing in riba, it is completely prohibited. It is haram. Now, as you have asked in your question regarding a student loan, and you only have to repay this loan if you earn more than 25,000 pounds a year. even in this situation you cannot agree with this contract even if you know that you will not earn more than 25000 pounds a year yet you cannot agree with this contract because you are agreeing that in this situation you will pay riba you will deal in riba so this is completely prohibited in islam i am aware that there are certain western so called scholars who say that it is permitted to take a student loan to take a home loan to take a house loan even if it involves in riba but the verse of the glory is quran it is clear in the prohibition of dealing with riba and dealing in riba it is a major sin so we should abstain from dealing in riba and if you want to study so there are other solutions the first is that you can apply for scholarship the second is that you can take a loan from an islamic sharia compliant bank the third is that you approach an islamic organization who will finance your education or who will give you a loan for your education but in no way should you take riba and many a times you know that if you deal in riba in this world you will get a lot of benefit it will be lucrative for example if you take this loan the student loan it may be for example for medicine and then later on you will become a doctor and you will earn a lot of money you will have so much respect but what is the point of this money when it is haram what is the point of this money when in the akhirah you will be among the losers and it is a test from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests different people in different ways so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests people for example he may show them that they have a good offer to deal with riba but it is a test for this person in this situation will he yet deal in riba or no so this is very important that we need to abstain from all the things that are haram and inshallah you have other solutions like scholarship you can take a loan from an islamic bank a sharia compliant bank or you can approach an islamic organization who will give you a loan So these are the options but in no way should deal and involve in riba
because riba it is clearly prohibited in islam and it is from among the major sins so no one should take it lightly so you should totally abstain from dealing in riba